Hi everyone, this is Who Gets the Glory, and today we're reading Streams in the Desert for July 20th. Since we have a great high priest, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Hebrews 4, 14, and 16. Our great helper in prayer is the Lord Jesus Christ. He is our advocate, ever pleading our case before the Father. He is our great high priest, whose primary ministry has for centuries been intercession and prayer on our behalf. It is he who receives our imperfect petitions from our hands, cleanses them of their defects, corrects their error, and then claims their answer from the Father. And he does so strictly on the basis of his worth and righteousness through the sufficiency of his atonement. Believer, are you lacking power in prayer? Look to Christ for your blessed advocate has already claimed your answer. And if you give up the fight, just as the moment of victory approaches, you will grieve and disappoint him. He has already entered the most holy place, Exodus 26:33, on your behalf, holding up your name on the palms of his hands. The messenger is now on his way to bring you your blessing, and the Holy Spirit simply awaits your act of trust, so he may whisper in your heart the echo of the answer from the throne of God. It is done. Revelation 21.6 A.B. Simpson The Holy Spirit is the one who works to make our prayers acceptable, yet we often forget his truth. He enlightens our minds so we may clearly see our desires, then softens our hearts so we may fill them, and finally he awakens and focuses those desires towards godly things. He gives us a clear view of God's power and wisdom, provides grace in our time of need, and strengthens our confidence in his truth so we will never waver. Prayer is a wonderful thing, and each person of the Trinity is involved in every acceptable prayer. J. Angle James Thank you for listening, and God bless you.